Processing copper in Kitwe, Zambia. The process includes concentrating, smelting, refining, and casting. Zambia is the second largest copper producer in the world after Chile, and Kikwe is a major player in Zambia, with the mine begun in the late 1920s. The process begins with transporting the ore, uh, basketball chunks, on a conveyor belt at around 10,000 tons per hour to the ball mill where it's broken up into much smaller pieces. There are many very noisy ball mills breaking up the ore. Broken down minerals now goes through a flotation process that helps us separate the copper from other minerals and waste rocks. The ore is dissolved in water and chemicals in large tanks. Through this air is bubbled and the copper gradually floats to the surface to be filtered off as a 28% copper solution. The moist copper concentrate is pressed and dried to form a copper powder Watering? Yeah, this is the press. The concentrate is pressed, filtered, and dried in a massive rotating dryer. After it's done, the material looks a lot like coffee grounds. This the copper concentrate is sent to a flask furnace where it melts. Sulfur driven off by the process is captured and used to make sulfuric acid. Heavier copper mat sinks to the bottom while lighter minerals rise to the top to be drained off the slag. A guide explains. And into a flash smelting furnace where oxygen and temperatures over 2,400 degrees separate it into three products. Gases, which contain sulfur, slag, which is mostly silica and iron, and copper combined with sulfur, called mat, which is 70% copper. The mat is flash cooled in water, turning it into granules that are then stockpiled in an enclosed dome. The granulated mat is ground up and fed into a flash converting furnace, which removes most of the remaining impurities to produce a molten copper called blister copper. 
Casting furnaces refine it further to 99.5% molten copper. Ninety nine per cent pure copper is good, but getting to ninety nine point nine nine per cent takes a little extra molecular mojo. The anodes are square tanks that are designed to conduct electricity. The tanks are filled with an electrolytic solution that creates positive and negative electrical currents, just like the world's biggest car battery. This current causes the pure copper ions to jump to the stainless steel plates. It's a pretty strong attraction. The result is a 99.99% pure copper cathode. These cathodes are stripped away from the stainless steel plates, corrugated, strapped together into 5,000 pound bundles. The copper plate is stripped by machine from the stainless steel backing. Loaded with copper plate, hundreds of trucks leave Zambia weekly for the trip south to the seaport city of Durban in South Africa. From here the copper plate is shipped worldwide for manufacture. With the million tons of copper being shipped annually, Zambia is one of the darker copper producers in the world today.